guest currently is one of the most famous women in Britain, with tabloid headlines devoted to her almost daily and a reality show following her every movement. It's true to say the British public can't get enough of her. But how much of it is the truth? Here to put the record straight, please welcome Katie Price. <laughs> I mean, it is true. You are in the papers all the time. Do you do you read the papers? Do you follow the stories about you? I know there was like I saw OK Mag today, so I twittered it and said there must be two of me because I haven't done that interview and that shoot they've used was from You magazine ages ago. Honestly, I haven't done interviews or a shoot for about 14 months for any magazine, and they just make up questions. And I think now they've got the book, they're making up the answers. Ah, okay. I haven't at all, but you'd think it, because I'm in them every week. Mm. Mm. I must admit, I mean, I, I, I would have thought that, judging yeah. by the magazines that you see. This is the book you're talking about, Katie Price, You Only Live Once. You may only live once, but you've managed to fill four books so far. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good going. You know, I've started on my next one already, because no. every two years. No. Yeah, it's, it's like a diary I do. Oh, right. I don't know why they call it all autobiography, because of course it's not. It's, it's, they should call it the diary, really. Mm -hmm. So, so is this done that. like a diary, then? Uh, it's not done like a diary, but there's so much that happens that it just uh, starts off, finishes off, you know, from the last one. Yeah. yeah. Now, you cover how you got together with Alex. Yeah. Uh, which is lovely. How there's is Alex? There's lots in there, actually. That's from when I had Princess all the way up to the wedding blessing, so it's yes. quite current. Yeah. Is Alex yeah. quite happy about you writing, writing about him and stuff? Is he supportive of it all? Um, yeah, we don't really talk work, and he's read it. You don't talk? And, um, not about work. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't talk very much if I was married to Alex. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Well, you've met him. So I have, yeah. <laughs> um, but no, no, well, I haven't really gone into proper detail. Yeah. About well, it, it, it's yeah. a really, one of the things I found interesting about it, because I've been, I don't know, because I Twitter as well, and last night I put it, sitting in bed, Steve is listening to the football on the radio and reading The Sun, and I'm reading your book and Twittering. And one of the things that I found really interesting was your talk about cosmetic surgery, because obviously you, you're oh, really yeah, open chapter. about, you know, what <coughs> you've had. And this, I had no idea what a horrific ordeal you'd had. Horrific. I thought going to America, you know, would, um be the best place, you know, they look after you well. I would advise anyone not to go to America and always have it done in England. You can't beat the NHS. You what, can't. What, 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 what happened? What bit went wrong? Well, I won't really leave it all because, you know, daytime yeah. TV, but there's some yeah. bits in there, which was the most painful thing. Basically, after you have an operation in America, they take you to, like, um, they just drive you somewhere. Whatever state you're in, they just drive you to this healthcare place. You're looked after by different nurses or carers, not by the doctor. They just give you all medication and you're sort of out of it. Mm. And it took them three days to realise I couldn't move my arm in one mm. of them. It was paralysed. And I'd just eaten. Mm. They called the doctor over because I was so drugged up, I couldn't tell them I couldn't move my arm. And then he said, oh my God, you know, we're going to have to take you straight down uh, to put you to sleep again. And I'd just eaten, but, you know, normally you can't eat, but they mm. didn't care. So there I was again, just because they blocked a nerve or something under mm. my armpit. Can I... Can I um, change the subject from I that, actually? I can talk a lot. The, um, <laughs> it's great. Um, I think you've had a really, really rough time mm -hmm. in the last year or two, really. Um, and you always come across kind of, uh, well, whatever, I'm not bothered, I'm not bothered. Yeah. But I have lately, it, it hasn't been like that. Yeah, the past year and a half has been quite traumatic. You know, normally I can take it on the chin, have a laugh, go along with it. But there's been so many hurtful things that really you aren't untrue. show it. Um, I think, do you know, where I've stepped back from doing the magazines and interviews, because you sort of get in a bubble where every week you're doing interviews, mm -hmm. you sort of don't really understand what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Where I've stepped back from it and actually look at what's been written and said about me, I'm like, oh my God, I'm glad I'm actually not doing it, not retaliating. Yeah. And so it's given me time to actually get the feelings from mm -hmm. it. It's, it's, mm. it's just not nice. You understand what yeah. I mean? Yeah, yeah like, of course. Yeah, it sort of has hit me more to make me think, you, you know, it's not all about magazines, photo shoots. Yeah. I am a human being, I have got a life, you mm. know. Did you think that you, you are more willing to appear a little bit softer? Because we saw you cry on the, on the Piers Morgan interview that yeah. you did. And I think that changed people's perception of you because you seemed, we seem to see the real Katie. Is that something that you're aware of? Or? Yeah, I mean, hopefully the reality show that I do shows a different side to me. I mean, I'm a proper Gemini where I keep feelings in. I mean, I do cry. And, you know, like I say, the past year and a half, half has been really traumatic for me. Um, 
Oh, yes. Alex not changed bad. to you? Do you think Alex has done this? Has he helped? He's definitely calmed me down because if he's fighting, like I've said before, he's so focused on what he does. And normally I retaliate if someone says something. I'm like, why are they saying that? That's it. I'm going to say it. I'm going to Twitter that. And he's like, Kate, think about it first. And other people around me mm. would be like, don't give it to them. Don't give them like headlines. So I'm you, like, yeah, you yeah, trust you're right. him, don't you? You trust him a oh. lot. Yes, and I've got a good team of people around me to just calm me down now. And, and I've just believed it's not all about the fame fortune you yeah. know i have got a life behind it as well and, and it also really frightening sorry to, but it must be really frightening for some for men to meet you because i don't go out and i'm a recluse honestly i watch your show and i'm how i don't work every day this morning jeremy carl this that is my routine <laughs> in the morning honestly i am a recluse and people think i go out all the time i saw you a few weeks ago at a party and we mm. did go out <laughs> we did at the party um oh and you as well um but honestly, I'm like everyone else. I like my drama series that are on the telly. Mm, yeah. You know, as soon as I'm home, I'm with the kids. I'm out riding my horses when I'm not at work, when literally every day. Um, and that's it. And I'm also, quite boring, so I don't go out anywhere. Katie, you, you touched on, you know, obviously feeling quite emotional at, at the moment. Very, very, very qu yeah. quickly. How's, how's the IVF treatment going? Uh, obviously, I had two of the ICSI we had, um, it, and it didn't work. Mm -hmm. So... I'm going to give my body a bit of a rest because you yeah. have to wait two months before the next one, yeah. which I did. Um, and, you know, your hormones are up and yeah, down. It's quite draining, isn't it? Uh, very. And, you know, I don't like needles. Injecting myself, I'm, mm. just, I'm like that. Oh, I can't mm. do it. But, um, yeah, it didn't work. So we just have to see what happens and with it, my body now. I just want to give it a rest. And, I mean, many couples have gone through this mm. and have spoken about how difficult it is as a, as a couple. Have, have yeah. you and Alex all right with it all? It would be more tougher on Alex, I think, because I've already had three kids. Yeah. It must go through his mind. Mm. Well, she's had three kids. Is it me? And then in my mind, I think, oh, my God, because of all this stress the past um, year and a half, has that made my body think, hang on, I'm not ready yeah, to yeah, give you, yeah, baby, because yeah, you're so be. stressed and, you know. So I don't know. I don't know the answer. Yeah, you yeah. 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 time anyway, though. You're still both so young. Yeah, but I want so, so many kids. Oh. <laughs> 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 I've got three. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you need to just chill out. I do. I ride my horses. Honestly, my life don't at the moment is horses. horses. <laughs> don't speak to me about horses. <laughs> it is horses and kids and then a bit of mm -hmm. work. Brilliant. Yeah. In that order. How lovely. Well, maybe kids yeah, first. Yeah. Kids first. Yeah. Katie, it's lovely to see you. Best Thank of luck you. with the book as well. Thank and you with very the new much. one, of course, Thank that you're you. writing. Katie Price, everyone. Woo!